So we all are aware of what are electromagnetic waves. Okay, electromagnetic waves. We have studied about this in chapter eight. What are electromagnetic waves? Yes, the wave which does not require material medium to transfer is known as electromagnetic wave. Second, we have what are characteristics of wave? Characteristics. Okay, characteristic. What are the characteristics of wave? Wave have uh, wave have. This is wave characteristic. It will have amplitude. It will have time period. It will have frequency. Then, then we have what are characteristics of matter? This was characteristics of wave. Next, we have characteristics of matter. Yes, matter. Matter means electron. They are very small. Meta, they are very small. They are moving constantly. And last, they attract each other. Attract each other. Okay, they attract each other. These are the properties. Now what? First, we have electron emission. First, we have electron emission. So, see, before that, now we have uh, we have something which is not in the in our syllabus, but we must know before starting this chapter. Planck's theory. Planck's theory. We must know this before starting the chapter. See, according to according to Planck, light have two nature. Before that, let us consider that there is one gardener who want to give water to the plant. He have two method. First method by by pipe by keeping the mouth of the pipe bit close. There will be a wave form. Second, what he can do, he can make a water balls and throw to the plants. Okay, see the first nature was a wave nature and second one was a packets nature, that is particle nature. So according to Planck's, na, according to Planck's, na, just understand, na, according to Planck, everybody radiate energy in the form of energy packets known as quanta. It is known as what? It is known as quanta. If plural of these packets are known as quantum. Okay, and energy of each quanta will be equal to H gamma, where H is Planck's constant. And what is the meaning of gamma? Gamma is your frequency. And what is your E? E is your energy. Okay, so what was the Planck's theory? Energy emitted in the form of energy packets known as quanta or photons. Energy is directly proportional to frequency. After we remove the proportionality sign, we will get constant that is known as Planck's constant. We must also know the value of Planck's constant and the value is 6.64 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second okay this is one of the most important value which you will be going to use after this chapter from dual nature atom molecule and nuclei it will be very useful for you people okay yes so as per planks what is what is uh, the radiation radiation will be in the form of energy packets known as what quanta if it will be plural it will be known as quantum Energy is directly proportional to frequency. After removing proportionality sign, you will get a constant. That constant is known as that constant is known as Planck's constant. It will be represented by H. Okay. Yes. Next, we have electron emission. 
electron emission. Simply, what is the meaning of electron emission? If we have a if we have a metal plate, let us consider that we have a metal plate. We have a metal plate on which on which we are incidencing. on which we are incidenting ultraviolet rays. Okay, on a metal plate, if we are incidenting ultraviolet rays, what will happen? An electron will come out of the plate. Electron will come out of the plate. Why it is coming out that we will study in the experiment. But this is the theory. Just remember what we have. If we are incidenting any type of light, but especially we will use ultraviolet light. Okay. If ultraviolet light is incident on the metal surface, there will be emission of electron. Okay. That there, there will be emission of electron. See for every material, we have some value, some value. What is the meaning of that? See. First, what we are doing, we are incidenting frequency of one volt. We will see that no electron had been removed. Okay, no electron had been jumped out. Then we increase it to two volt. We will we will see the same thing. No electron is coming out. If we increase it to three, same thing. If we are increasing to four, same thing. If we are increasing to five, same thing. If we are increasing to six, same thing. Same thing means what? Electron will not jump. But if we increase further six, what we will see, we will see that electron emission will happen. Electron emission will take place. Electron emission is taking place. That means what? If there is an emission of electron, that means what? Yes, electron is, electron is coming out. Okay, see what you will see here, what you will conclude here, okay, any frequency, any frequency will not be okay. We have to cross certain frequency after which electron will come out. And that frequency will be known as threshold frequency. One of the most important definition from this chapter. Yes, so what you studied, you studied the threshold frequency. Threshold frequency. What is the meaning of threshold? Threshold means starting frequency. What? starting frequency okay yes so what do you mean by threshold frequency the frequency after which emission of electron take place is known as is known as threshold frequency okay the frequency after which electron take place is known as threshold frequency and for removing that electron the energy required is known as work function it will be known as work function Okay, so what do you mean by work function? The minimum energy required to pull electron from metal surface is known as work function. So from this topic, these two are the most important definition you will have to fit in your mind. Okay, so what we studied here, what we studied here, we studied that if we have a metal plate, if we have a metal plate and if we are incidenting a suitable frequency, not every frequency will be useful after reaching certain frequency there will be emission of electron okay and that frequency after which electron is electron emission take place is known as what it is known as threshold frequency and the energy required see the minimum frequency required is known as threshold frequency and minimum energy required is known as work function okay why it is happening? Because see, our metal have many electron. When frequency is coming, then electron emission will take place. Okay, for time being, just remember this thing. Why it is happening? How it is happening? How it we can stop this? That we are going to study in the experimental part. Okay, so these are the two important definition which we are going, which we have studied from you. Okay, let's see this slide. Let's see each points one by one. First. What see? What is this? This is your metal plate. Huh? This is your metal plate. 
this is your metal plate this is your metal plate in your metal plate what you have you have uh, you have you have number of free electrons and when light incident on it see this is light light means it can be visible but ultraviolet will be most preferable then electron emission will take place okay so we'll see each points one by one we are aware that negative charge particle known as free electron which give metal their conductivity at present okay see this electron will be there in the metal plate but this electron will move will move in random motion and we have studied in chapter 2 and chapter 3 that if they are in random motion they are of no use for us they should be in a proper manner they should be in a random manner then only it will produce what then only it will produce electricity okay so free electron however are typically unable to leave the metal surface okay then the metal surface picks up positive charge when an electron tries to escape drawing the electron back into metal this light will come light will come in the form of photon and the photon will take place of the photon will take place of of electron and electron will jump out of the out of the metal surface the ions attractive force hold free electron inside the metal surface as a result the electron can only exit the metal surface if it possesses enough energy to resist the force of attraction an electron must receive a minimum level of energy to draw away from the metal surface minimal and level of energy that minimal and, and level of energy is known as what it is known as work function so the metal's work function is the lowest energy needed for an electron to break free from surface it is commonly expressed expressed as it is commonly expressed as work function it is it is represented by phi not and it will be equal to h gamma not according to planck energy will be equal to what h gamma what is work function this is work function huh? this is your work function this is your planck's constant this will be your threshold frequency this was your only frequency this will be your threshold frequency what do you mean by threshold frequency the minimum frequency after which electron emission take place and what do you mean by work function minimum amount of energy required to pull electron from metal surface is known as electron emission so this was your first part okay yes then we have three types of emission we have three type of emission if you want to remove electron the following physical process can provide free electron with minimum energy needed for electron emission if you want to remove electron then we can do these three things first thermionic emission thermionic emission means the liberated electron can be given enough thermal energy to allow them to exit the metal by heating it appropriately if we heat the metal electron will electron will jump out of the metal this is this emission is known as thermionic emission what is second one field emission this technique uses an extremely powerful electric field on the magnitude of electron that can be extracted from a metal by applying 10 days to 8 volt per meter so as to plug for a spark in field emission what we can do we will use extremely powerful electric field okay and that will help to remove electron from the metal surface and the third thing is photoelectric emission what is the meaning of photoelectric emission the electric emission which we studied now the emission which we studied now see if you have a metal surface on metal surface if you are striking a light there will be emission of electron that electron is known as photoelectron and the effect is known as photoelectric effect the meaning of photo is what the meaning of photo what is the meaning of photo photo means light and what is the meaning of electric electric means current 
so if you are producing current with the help of light then that process will be known as photoelectric process photoelectric emission process okay so what we are we were doing on the metal surface we were just striking the light with the help of the light there was an emission of electron that electron is known as that electron is known as photoelectron and the effect is known as and the effect is known as photoelectric effect okay yes